I had the best time watching the K-drama series Extraordinary Attorney Wu. I'm just a little bit emotional that we are near the end. Still, since episode 14 is now available, we are only down to two more episodes which makes us more excited and sad at the same time. I am sure that the last two episodes will be just as good as the rest of the series, so you better watch out for our next videos. As sad as it may be, but soon enough, we will be saying goodbye to our extraordinary attorney. By the way, if you have not watched the original video where I have picked the best scenes from episodes 1 to 10, you can go to the description down below and click the link. However, if you already did, I bet you are excited to know which scenes are the best from episodes 11 to 14. So let's get right into it. Episode 11 in episode 11, the viewers see Lee Jun Ho and Wu Young Woo in some sweet interactions. Wu Young Woo also confessed that Lee Jun Ho occupies her thoughts lately more than whales. His captivating smile is enough to enchant anyone. But this week, something else attracted viewers' attention. Wu Young Woo had to save a woman from her cheating spouse, a fact that she only realized later. The episode took a turn when the group witnessed the husband dying in a car accident. Lee Jun Ho was seen trying to comfort the woman, but immediately went to Wu Young Woo when he saw her. Wu Young Woo had a sensory overload that triggered a meltdown. In one of the most romantic scenes of the series, Lee Jun Ho comforts her by giving her a tight hug, which results in her calming down. Wu Young Woo even requested for the hug to be tighter. Lee Jun Ho obliged without question. Later in the episode, Wu Young Wu explains what a back hug cushion is and how it helps her relieve her anxiety. Lee Jun Ho volunteered that he could be her human hugging chair instead. This demonstrates Lee Jun Ho's commitment to learning how to care for her and his readiness to spend the rest of his life with Wu Young Wu. He really cares for this young lady. Episode 12 this scene features Wu Young Wu and Lee Jun Ho. At first, Young Wu looked like she was looking for something or someone before Jun Ho asked her if she was indeed looking for something. Young Wu replied to him that she is looking for her father because his father saw them last time when they kissed. With his shock, the only words that came out of Jun Ho's mouth was, What? Until Young Wu revealed that her father wanted to meet Jun Ho. However, things took a turn when Young Woo revealed to Jun Ho that she will not bring him to their home because they are not dating yet. With a more shocked reaction, Jun Ho mouthed another what question and he was stuttering when he clarified to Young Woo if they are not dating yet. Young Woo reasoned that they never mentioned before and when Jun Ho still cannot recover from the revelation, Young Woo asked him to clarify if they did talk about dating before. Jun Ho, still down from this, asked her why would he campaign to free dolphins with her on his day off. Getting a little tense, Young Wu reiterated if Jun Ho does not believe that dolphins should be freed as well. With this, Jun Ho replied with a higher tone, solidifying his answer that he believes in that too. But campaigning for dolphins is not something that he would do on his day off from work because it is no fun at all. Now the tables have turned. With a shocked voice, Young Wu repeated the claim of Jun Ho, it's not fun? Juno decided to be honest in the next act in which he brought up the list made by Young Wu, the things to do on a date, and gave a hint in his voice that he may not like it. The scene ended there, leaving the audience wanting for more. Episode 13 The scene starts showing Young Wu on a plane with Jun Ho. The act looks like Young Wu was scared on her seat, probably because it's a new experience for her. Noticing this, Jun Ho immediately paid attention to her and asked her how she's feeling and if she wanted to adjust her seatbelt to feel more secure. Young Woo answered with a confused no and a yes as she rambled about what was going on and talked about how frightened she is on the plane. Jun Ho answered her with a shocked what? And he got an answer of doubt when Young Woo pointed out the time when he said that planes are the safest vehicle there is. She continued on with her cute scary scene when Jun Ho puts headphones on her head and when the aircraft relaxed, she did too. Young Woo was both amazed and confused on how weird planes are and she was answered by a sweet smile from Jun Ho. This scene is another experience taken by the two of them and another reason that makes them perfect with each other. The next scene is saddening yet realistic. The curtains folded when Shonghui was interrogating Jun Ho during an afternoon tea. 
She was asking in quite suggesting that he better not tell their parents that he is dating Yongwu. Junho asked her what she was talking about and she did confirm that she's pertaining to the relationship he has with Yongwu. Junho, a literal prince, asked her why he can't bring it up to their parents and he was answered with the threat that their parents might faint if they heard about the dating news. Xionghui then stated that Jun Ho has no intention of marrying Yang Wu, so he does not have to tell the adults so that they don't have to put an effort into worrying. With a little restraint, Jun Ho tries to clarify the issue by asking his sister to clarify her claims. Xionghui's husband tries to stop her at this point because he's afraid that Yang Wu might hear the conversation, but he cannot stop her. With no patience, Xiong Hui told Jun Ho that he is in a difficult relationship with Yang Wu and she is not happy about it either. She would have continued her concerns about their parents' opinion before he was cut off by Jun Ho. She continued her speech by talking about how they want him to be happy and he should be with someone, a girl, who can actually make him happy and not someone whom he has to take care of. Jun Ho, with a higher tone, questioned his sister how she can ever let those words escape her mouth and continuously argued with her by reiterating the fact that it's Seung Hui's first time meeting Yong Bu and she does not know everything there is about his girlfriend. Despite the determination of Jun Ho, Seung Hui is still fixated on the idea that he should not introduce Yong Wu as his girlfriend to their family. Yet Jun Ho is also solid on the idea that her sister should know more about Young Wu first. And while everything is in chaos while the siblings are arguing, Young Wu was there in a corner, listening and absorbing everything as she makes a conclusion in her head. Episode 14 Wu Young Wu ultimately made the decision to discontinue her relationship with Lee Jun Ho. As she intently stared at Jun Ho, she called his name and dropped the bomb on him with words that says, I don't think you and I should date. To his surprise, it was a long run of seconds before he asked her what her intention was in using those words as she ended their relationship. Because of desperation, he asked her if maybe it was because attorney Jun was sick. And he prayed that it's not because they can spot any dolphins around. He even extended an explanation why they couldn't see any dolphins at that time. Young Wu then narrated that she is blinded by what she can only see and that she has forgotten deeper things that lie beyond that. She then decided to look into that beyond and decided to mention local highway number 3008 and realized that the concept of public property can serve as a legal justification. She turned her back on Jun Ho and started walking. When he asked her where she was going, she did not answer. Instead, she continued to walk until Jun Ho shouted at her. At this point, Jun Ho expressed his feelings at that moment and asked Young Wu what she thinks of him and why she is doing that to him. We can all see Jun Ho hurting at this moment. After expressing, I'm very sorry, Wu Young Wu walked away from Lee Jun Ho and turned around, leaving him to cry heavily as he was taken aback by the unexpected confession that they were breaking up. The audience experienced a great deal of melancholy as a result of the incident in which Lee Jun Ho was left crying alone. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I hope you still have the feelings you felt when you first watched those scenes. Click the like button and subscribe to our channel to stay updated for best scenes on episodes 15 and 16 of the K-drama series Extraordinary Attorney Wu. See you there!